Those guys who left the video early, I bet they're sorry now. <laughs> Welcome back to Minor 49er, you guys. We're about to head up this mountain. We're at about 93 degrees Fahrenheit right now, 34 degrees Celsius. So it is definitely a hot day, and we've got to hike up to the waste rock piles up there. There's, there's two there, and then there's a third a little bit lower down, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, thanks for joining us, by the way. The terrain we're walking on is probably the, that big of an angle. And uh, we got a waste rock pile here, but right up there, there's, there's a platform of something. So we might not be able to get into anything right here. Well, we'll see. Sounding more and more like bear every day. <laughs> we might have a portal here. We got a portal! Before we go in, oh, sorry. Um, I don't know how well you can see him, but down there we got Mrs. 49er and then. Uh, the gentleman from Exploring Abandoned Mines and Unusual Places, he came down for the weekend and we've been out exploring with him. Many of you are familiar with this channel, but those of you who aren't, uh, there's a link in the description. If you like this type of content, mine, mine videos, definitely head over there and give his channel a look-see. Really, he's got some really cool stuff. So what have we got right here? It's almost looking like another portal, you guys. We got a road. too close to that. All right. Shh. Well, it looks like that portal down below is not going to go very far into the mountain. We're going to hit this shaft and then be done. We'll just take a quick peek inside of here and see what we've got. I can't see anything. I think I'm just gonna crawl in there. 
maybe. I'm going to try to crawl in there. This big old rock I'm sitting on is right in the way. I'm going in. Don't come in. Okay, now I can see. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. Right there. It's nothing. I don't wanna be traipsing through all that. A bunch of fuzzies on the ground. So I was wrong. It's nothing. Goes back maybe 10 feet and stops. It does not connect back up with that shaft we saw higher up, which is not what I expected. Uh, this will not be all of the video. We'll uh, connect back up with you guys when we get up to the top. I'm just sitting here waiting for the others to come up the mountain. I came up first, uh, but I don't mind waiting. Check out that view. 180 degrees of gorgeous. So yeah, I don't mind the weight. So it was quite a climb, but I think we've made it finally. Let's see what's up here. Fingers crossed for a portal opening. Then we got a section of waste rock coming out here where they dump off the side. Big old pile of waste rock. I mean, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. This is decent size. So whatever used to be here was massive. And I say used to because I just caught a glimpse of where the portal's supposed to be. And, uh, well guys, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. It's either been closed off by humans or by time. I don't know, but I am not seeing any opening here. Now there is a waste rock pile farther up. In fact, you can see it through the trees right there. Uh, so there might be a shaft leading down to this mine, but unless it's a shallow shaft or a, an incline, we might not make it in. That being said, we will give it 110% effort in trying to get in there. So check the timestamp. I'll catch you later when I get up to the top. So we got to the first waste rock pile. It's quite the doozy. I'm not sure what we'll find up here, but hopefully it will be something that we can explore. <sighs> Dang it. Still cool, but dang it. <sighs> another hike, another disappointment. But we're gonna carry on to this next one. Looks like we got a shaft right here. That's a good sign. Let's hope it goes semi deep. Only got 30 feet of rope with me though, so I don't know if we'll be able to rappel down anything. Yeah, it's a shaft all right. But where does it go? Some cool crystals on this rock. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. 
Sorry, I got a little distracted. That one's cool too. But uh, I think it's worth the distraction. Those are cool. We're not gonna throw those down. Okay, there's the mine. You know what, guys? That might be doable. That might be doable. Just getting down this initial section into that section. All right, we're gonna try it. Don't come after me, please. Probably a smart play, but let's toss a rock. It stops there. what's under all of these bushes. That's all moving. I taste dirt. I wish all this brush wasn't there. I just, I don't see what's beyond. I don't see a reason to keep going. I'm just not seeing much down here to warrant all the waste rock up there. That does not turn the corner back there either. Sorry guys. I tried to get you down in there. There's just nothing here. There's just nothing down here. So, I think we're just gonna head back out. Sorry. I was really hoping we could find something that connected back with that tunnel. Oh, losing my footing that we saw down below. But I'm just not seeing anything. And yes, in case you were wondering, it is very steep right here. Very steep. Okay. Now we're back to more solid stuff right here. Dang it. Marco! Hello. Don't know how much you heard, but uh, it goes down, turns the corner, goes down, and it just ends. All right, you guys. It's unlikely we're gonna come across anything else today. Sorry, you got something on you. Uh, so, while we did not get into a deep mine, I'm still glad that I found what we found. We found some cool structures covering mines. We found that mine we were able to sort of get into. Uh, but anyway, thank you for joining us. Uh, be sure to check back next week. Don't know what we'll have in there, but I'll do my best, like I say, so, to get you something good. I am not seeing any opening here. All right, guys. 
we're sitting here. This is how you want. We're tired of this. So they start digging. And lo and behold, they found something. Of all the places to dig. Thanks, Tracy. We found a hole. This was all within like flat minutes. like this. We started digging and uh, here, and we, we found a gap. See the gap? And we, it, there's cold air blowing out of it. So we actually found a portal. See where his shovel's going? And there's, you can feel the cold air blowing out. It's like a breeze. So just by blind luck, within five minutes, we, we just chose to start digging here. We could have dug anywhere on this erosion pile, but we picked the right spot. I mean, we may not get in, Right. Until we do a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a, the opening. This is going to be a lot of work. Hike a lot to get up here. So yeah, this, this, was, is, this was pretty hard to get to. This is satisfying. This is very satisfying. <laughs> yes, it's going to take work to get in here, but we'll be the first ones. This will be nice. Who, who knows when the last time someone was in here. Is there still air coming out? I'm yeah, it, feeling it cold air. Feel as much as I, did earlier, I mean, hopefully it's not just a pocket. Hopefully it leads Well, there was air coming out, so there must, that must be we punched through. Yeah. This might be an ongoing project with Matt and this, this might take a couple of minutes to get this thing out. Oh, yeah. That's a good run. Looks like that's where it's going downhill. You see the timbers in there? Let me see down there. Is there timbers in there? No, but it goes back. I can see the whole tunnel. Really? Nice. Oh yeah. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> it's a mine. It's a full-blown, full-quick mine. Can't believe we lucked out. Yeah. I am telling you to believe, and I just can't believe you lucked out. <laughs> I had no hopes that we, 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 you know, we, we first walked up here, I was like, this is just going to be for 10 minutes, and I'm going to yeah. say screw it, and, you know. And after, what, four minutes, three, four Less minutes? Less than five, yeah. Yeah. We, we, you we, guys we, found the void, and... Yeah, the air coming out. This is kind of exciting. I've, I've done a couple of dig outs, but it's never worked. It, 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 you know, I've never gotten in. So, I, you know... It's nice to be able to actually do that and maybe get in. The lengths we go through. Well, so it's kind of like archaeology in a way. Oh, here. <laughs> Where's my shovel go? <laughs> Can you me to take over? I don't know. Part of me is tired. Part of me wants to dig it out.
we got it open. Not only have we got it open, we've got it open enough that we think <laughs> we can just barely shimmy on in there. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to shimmy on in there. Here we go. Mrs. 49er, if you'd please throw my backpack down in here. This is a little tight right here. In terms of the width or the height? The height. All right, honey. Pack down, please. Frank, it ends 10 feet ahead. What? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, if you, uh, yeah. if you kick some of that away, I'll kick it as I come in. you should be good. Okay. Oh. This could very well be the first time anyone's been in this mine for a hundred years. I mean, there, there's, there's no real way of knowing how much time has gone by since someone has been in here, but I'm seeing things ahead that suggest we're the first. I'm going to wait for Frank because he's got an air tester on his pack and where we just opened this up, I don't want to go in without that. All right, there's your first look into the mine. That is cool. <laughs> that is so cool, you guys. I am very much stoked. That bug has never seen light. He is seeing light for the very first time. I don't know if you can see his antennae, but they are very, very long because they're made for seeing in the dark, for looking around in the dark. I don't know if my excitement is coming through on the camera or not, but I am I'm very excited right now. It's fun going into mines just because they're mines, but going into a mine you know no one else has been in in quite possibly a hundred years. That's uh, an extra special kind of excited. I'm going to go past the door just to make room for you guys. That old hinge. Any footprints? Nope. Here comes Tracy. She's coming through. Yeah, that's an old door. You need some help, Tracy, or you got it? Hey, Looking good, honey. <sighs> Look at this can up here. Yeah. Let me get my way out. <laughs> we are in. We are in. Oh, those guys who left the video early, I bet they're sorry now. <laughs> uh, 
Did you go under or I went around. I'm trying, it's not working. We are the first ones in here in probably a century. Probably. Here's an old wooden door that used to be locked in the tunnel. So what are you thinking right now? This is worth it. I hope it's worth it. It already is worth it. We'll wait for you to him to get up here. Okay. We don't want to get too far ahead of the guy with the oxygen monitor. <laughs> I was telling them that uh, if I didn't have a meter, I probably wouldn't have come in here. So no footprints, right? I haven't seen any, but. Yeah, there shouldn't be because. As we were digging, I kept thinking of that verse in Oh My Darling Clementine, I've been excavating for a mine. I don't remember how the rest goes, but I was thinking about that. Just a bit of strapping right there. A lot of it right here. Bunch of those strappings are down here. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we got a pile up ahead, but it looks like the mine might. No, it doesn't turn. Looks like we might be able to get over it, but. Oh, we got a, a junction here, it looks like. It goes right and it goes left. Stay to the right, though. Yep. Stay to the right! We're going right as a group. Huh. It's curious. There's probably not a whole lot of oxygen in this place. The crystals are here. Sticking out in the ceiling. And even for decent sized crystals. Needless to say, we will not make this a two-part video. You guys have stuck around till the end. You deserve to see the whole thing. Oh my goodness. Ladder. Oh boy. How do you feel like climbing, Frank? Don't get by that edge. Yeah. And be careful along this edge. One slip and that's a, a long fall. Don't come over here, honey. That ladder looks doable almost. I'd have to toy around with it a bit to see how rotted away it is first, but I'm having to shimmy my way across here. I don't want to get too close. That edge really eroded. Oh, it goes up too. Got a second level up there. How's that ladder? It's out of reach. Huh? I'd have to stand on your shoulders and jump. But the mine continues on this way. Yeah, 
we've like decided that. that this, we put this board here, but we're just, we're worried about safety. So I'm gonna go ahead, see what's back there. And then, then that, let that determine whether or not we all go. What time? Uh, what time is it? 4.25. If I'm not back by five. Oh. I don't know what that was, but I just hopped over it. So what you didn't see was Frank testing that. And uh, in all reality, I shouldn't have even gone there. I shouldn't have gone back here, for being honest. It just keeps going back. All right, we're at a tight spot, so I'm gonna have to watch me instead of the mine for a minute. All of this that you're seeing on the floor, this is all backfill. All of it is backfill. Ooh, that goes down maybe 60 feet and then with a ladder and then drops off. So I'm not gonna go down it. Looks like we've got some major timbering right here. Looks like it was to hold up the ceiling, though. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I said uh-oh because it looked like there was a... a, uh... I want you to call it. a shaft right here, but there's not. Timer, 12 minutes. In 12 minutes, I need to turn around. That does not look good. That goes and stops there. That continues on. There's an old dynamite box there. I'm not going to give you a close-up look because I'm in a time crunch. I want to make sure I can get forward as far as I can before I have to turn backwards. Or not backwards, but to turn back. Right here I'm really paying attention to my breathing. Because if it becomes ragged, then I'm in trouble. Okay. We've reached the end. The face. Oh, that is cool. All right, guys. I don't want to dally. Dilly dally here. No lollygagging. I don't know what that's on. All right, uh, you've seen all this, so I'm gonna turn you guys off and catch back up to you when we reach the folks, the, the other guys. I'll be back.
Trying to not slide into that. Don't tell my mother, please. That's what we're trying to avoid falling down, so here's hoping. All of this, it's no good. This is good. Okay. Now is the point where I realize I forgot something. Car keys. Okay. I'm glad you didn't. Go across, honey. Yeah, you're fine to go, Frank. Okay, you'll get go this junction up here. We have to go the other way. Yep, I'll let you explore that area first. Seems fair. There's an old screw, Frank. What? An yeah, old flathead screw. Oh. We're going to explore this next and l probably last section of the mine. How's it looking up there? Nice. Oh, except for the backfill. Ow. Looks like it keeps going. It does. Might be something off to the left there. I'm not sure where my light is. But a bunch of backfill. Well, let me head over there and we'll take a look. Nice colors over there. Yeah. Backfill. Well, that's a fun little alcove. <laughs> no, it doesn't go anywhere off to the right or the left, but it does keep going forward. More backfill. All right. You need to change batteries? Yeah, my helmet light just blinked. All right. Let me, I'll get up here. And... Let's take a rest, and I need a new battery in mine, too. So yeah. we'll have a little break, and we'll be right back. All right, we all got fresh batteries and cameras and flashlights. So, uh, well, I don't have a fresh battery in my flashlight, but I only have the one. But anyway, we're good to go now. There seem to be a lot of these little pockets, I've noticed. Maybe pull-out stations for when the carts came through. A lot of backfill, though. Lots and lots of backfill. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. I worry about how far down this went. Stay to the right. I don't know if that's just a hole or what, but we've got solid rock on the right. Is this the end? I think this is the end. Yep. This is the end. That's cool. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Huh? Painting on the wall or something? Something. It's like a target of some sort. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to make our way back. It's slow going. I'm on the edge. <laughs> it would be interesting to come back in like five years 
to see how the interior of the mine, the atmosphere in the mine changes now that it's, it's open. Because now there's going to have animals coming in here and building habitat in here. Uh, the critters that are in here are going to go deeper into the mine. It's going to dry out. So it would, it's very humid in here, very stuffy. So I'd be curious to see how this mine changes over the course of safe, you know, like I said, five years or so. All right, we are back at the junction. That way went nowhere, but we're gonna go down it anyway, just to say we did. Whole bunch of those screws though, whole bunch of them. This is one awesome mine. I'm so glad you guys joined us. I'm going to take a break here, though, if you don't mind. And I'll catch back up to you when we head outside. We can see light ahead. Which is a welcome sight. More bugs. The bugs are already moving in. You know, whoever made this opening, it's a beautiful opening. I like it. It's got style. It's got class. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to let Mrs. 49er head out first, you know, ladies first, and then I'm going to pass her the camera and uh, we'll head out. So, yeah, in a moment we'll be free and stuff. We almost didn't make that hole big enough. Mm -hmm. Well guys, we made it out. My hat's here, my wife's here, earth is still here, that rock is still here. Good. Raining <laughs> it's raining over there. Oh, let me tell you what, that was an adventure. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today on Minor 49er. Oh, there we go, there I am. <laughs> and there she is. We sure appreciate your support. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. This, this mine quite literally hasn't been explored, I don't think, in over 100 years, which is awesome. Because we found screws, flathead screws. I don't know the history of screws or flathead screws. Uh, so maybe one of you will know what time period those were used in. But whatever time period that was, I don't think anybody's been in here since then. I don't know if that was the 50s, the 20s, the 1860s. I don't know. But regardless, no one has been in there for a very long time. Thanks so much for joining me. If you think we've earned it, please click the like button, subscribe, head to my uh, store at, and get yourselves a merch. Uh, have fun with it. <laughs> you take care and we will see you next week.